Hey, engaging comment. How are you? Side option, go to the stone. Okay. We want to get the best out of the story, so we'll go back to the stone. It's a good thing this is m making sense, otherwise I'd be completely lost. Dave, we're just about as lost as you. What we're doing is that we're playing a uh, detective, I believe his name is Paul, and we're going to a city where Ethan Carter banished from, and on our way there we're putting clues together to unlock the story, so this was only the second part of the story, and the first part we found clues about uh, Ethan writing a story for the grandfather, or his grandfather, Ga Ga no, I don't remember his name, but I think his wife's name is Gail, um, wrote a story based off an article in a newspaper about uh, a guy who used to eat sap in the woods, and uh, the villagers thought that he was going in and like planting treasure, or he had treasure out there, and he was uh, actually just eating sap. Go back to the rock. <clears throat> We're on a mature Scooby-Doo mode. Yeah. It's hard to tell which part comes next. I don't want to go too far in. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. <laughs> Luke, I wish there was V. V to search. I'm fighting a sap monster? No, it was just a story. That was like the first part of the story. Oh. Getting very queasy. Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. Yeah, hopefully you get to come back. Sorry, it's a little... I wonder if it's just the motion. Me, like, whipping around and stuff. I'm seeing. Oh my gosh. Brody, you have to get out of here. <laughs> I all of a sudden just saw him enter the room, which is like right next to my monitor, and it scared the shit out of me. I thought it was something coming towards me. <laughs> Joan. One of the monkeys at her lab probably gave her the rage virus. She'll be fine. Big scary doge. If you guys knew, like, I can see my monitors go, like, my, my screens go all the way to the end of the monitor, so there was, like, this much door at the end of my monitor, and he just decided to walk in. Oh, Brody's a killer. <laughs> Spoilers.
is a little boy. Oh, there it is. Oh! A grenade? What? This grass is insane. It's the definition of linear with almost no action. It's easy to use the game assets. The loot! The loot is real, Melissa. Confirmed. We've got a Granada. Ethan Cart. Yeah, Ethan is the little boy that was tied to the train track.
one of two. <laughs> oh, what's the game about? I'm not sure right now, Ikea. I'm a little confused. We're trying to figure it out. It's a, it's about a boy who um, is lost. <laughs> I'm going to try to find him. Hope you brought your rape whistle because they about to do some probing. <laughs> hey, Rib, how are you doing today? Starts his walk in the woods and there's probing. <laughs> hey, Paul. Jack. <laughs> how are you guys? Okay, fangs. The beast had fangs, uh, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up to its legs up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning as the orange light died another took its place this one was blue a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars the beast showed its fangs and the lights vanished a moment later the light appeared again between two distant trees the beast wanted to go home but could not ignore the light so it chased it deeper into the forest Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked, uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Oh, so it's like a treehouse? <clears throat> this is a side quest? Think about it, almost missed it. You're playing Inquisition Rib? Nice. Why is Wheatley there? Let's see, let's... Is this the second piece? I forgot to look at the back of the other one. Oh. Um... Gaylord? So Travis was Ethan's brother. America's finest science fiction, January 1964, 40 cents, featuring Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding, plus Julian West, Michael Arden, Clarence Carlyle, and many others. Travis's defacement, Gaylord. Light disappear between two distant. Oh, okay, wait. He showed us things, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could only ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so. In a clearing of trees, the beast circled, uh, entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned towards the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Side quest has nothing to do with the game. It's bits about what Ethan is like. He likes to write stories. <laughs> using whatever he has around. Travis's New York Times level critique. <laughs> so we kind of just get into Ethan's mind, is what does it seem like. Just to see what what he's like. Okay. It's like a... Hmm. Is it possible that a detective has schizophrenia? <laughs> Good night. Oh, okay, thank you so much for stopping by Ikea. Have a great night. I hope to see you again soon. See parts of his imagination come to life. Hey, Lord, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> hmm, that was actually pretty neat. So it was like getting into his imagination. Now we have to figure out how far forward we went. I feel like I need to go back a little. <laughs> That's okay, Lord. Wait a 
7 o'clock and 7.05. You're on the right track. Get it? <laughs> Get it? It's not an English person. I'm confused about the grammar in this game. Travis is. Um, it depends. It depends on possession. Um, actually, I think Travis... It's possession. It's... Is that true? I don't know. Sometimes I have an issue with those two. I thought if it was like a group or something like that. I'm confused. Okay. Maybe there's nothing over here? supposed to see. That's what I thought, Dave, is that it shows possession, but I, I, know, I haven't taken an English class forever. The, the train looks so realistic. Wow, we're already- okay, we're already at the dam. Hot damn. <laughs> that sounded hilarious. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, you're never supposed to hold your sneeze in. <laughs> okay, you're on the right path. Whew. Got a little bit of a brain rush from that. something in here, but <clears throat> apparently not. Here. 
probably not. Just need to follow the tracks across the dam. Yeah, we're solving a murder in the case. Poss I mean, I don't know. We don't know. Because he just vanished. Two Easter egg coming up on the bridge. It's a trap! <laughs> Ooh, pebbles. Yeah, the view. A regular. There, Kaylee, you should be able to add links now. Doges are happy. You said that there was a oh oh it's difficult to get Later, okay. Or 
flash up on your camera a little bit myself, bud. I know I still remembered everything. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll see why. That house is gorgeous. Just saying. That's the way the new <laughs> that's the new way to fish. Can I go up into that house? 